Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly forecast. This is going to be a general reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising. We're going to connect and see what messages are coming up in the week ahead. We do have a new moon that's going to be happening on the 21st. So we're just going to check in and get a forecast uh, for the collective. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Therefore, not every single message is going to resonate and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, let's see what we have coming up here for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius uh, Moon, and Aquarius Rising. Move you all just a little bit closer. First card coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a card that requires that we exercise caution. And it can come up in a couple of different ways. It can come up in a way where we might be dealing with a person that really has a good understanding of who we are, what we like, what we're looking for, what impresses us. And so they might put on this mask and pretend to be all of those things, but they're really not. So if somebody is coming in and you're like, oh my gosh, whether it's friendship, business, romance, whatever it might be, and you're like, oh my goodness, we have so much in common. We are so alike. I feel so in tune with this person. Uh, give it some time. Because if they're faking, that mask is going to slip off. Or they're going to start avoiding you. They're going to start pulling away. And then you're going to say, ah, okay, they couldn't keep it up. They couldn't keep up the facade. And you're going to know that person wasn't for real. So I'm not saying like to avoid people or to be paranoid. Just give it time. Give it time before you're like, oh my gosh, I'm all in. And, and just kind of see, is this person going to stand that test of time? Uh, this could also be a card that comes in when we're in a situation where we're trying to do some things and the Seven of Swords is saying, move quietly, move silently. Not everybody needs to know what you're up to. Some people are just going to try to steal our ideas or beat us to it. Some people are going to discourage us, right? This is especially true if you're an Aquarius that's really looking for some changes in your life right now. Uh, this moon is really jumping out at me and we do have the new moon. So this is telling me a lot of you Aquarius are going to be able to really tap into this new moon energy and manifest some big things. But if we're around negative people or if we're about to ascend to a higher vibration than the people around us, the people around us are going to have a habit of being very discouraging of, you know, saying things, doing things that make us feel like it's hopeless or it's not going to work out. So here you finally got your candle lit. You're so happy. You have your pretty little flame and you're like, oh, look at my candle. It's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's keeping me warm. Oh, it's giving me light. Oh, I can see where I'm going. And they just come in and <laughs> blow out your candle. Those jerks. So <laughs> well, I don't want to judge anybody. They have their reasons for doing it, but we don't need it. We don't need anybody coming in and blowing out our candle. So not everybody needs to know what you're up to right now. Okay. Some people see you're about to come up. They sense it. They feel it. And they're trying to slide in just in time so they can say, oh, see, I was your friend before all the success. I was your friend before the glow up. I'm not like these fake people. They are exactly like those fake people. They just got in early. So like I said, anybody who just seems like, oh my gosh, we're so in tune. Be cautious and just kind of wait. Like, is this person for real? Is this person for real? Give it time. Because if they're not for real, they're going to get tired of putting on that mask. The next card that comes up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Ace of Swords. This is a card that also came up for Capricorn. So if you have Capricorn placements or if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you may want to check out that reading here for the week ahead. Ace of Swords is a card that has to do with agreements, finding solutions to problems, contracts, agreements, you know, making things official, finalizing plans, working out terms and conditions. 
Ace of Swords is also a card that comes up for me in readings when we're going through a really significant clearing in our crown chakra. We're clearing away low self-esteem. We're clearing away um, uh, false beliefs. Um, we are seeing solutions where once we saw problems and we're coming into a time of efficiency. We're seeing an easier and quicker way to do things. So there's, there's solutions and there's changes that you're going to be able to make that aren't going to take forever. That it, it's going to be easier than what you're thinking. It's not going to take as long as you're thinking because you're coming into the situation with a way that's really going to work and with a way where there's efficiency. The next card that's coming up here for the Aquarius Collective is the Ace of Pentacles. An Ace of Pentacles can be new opportunities. It could be and, and new contracts, agreements, new energy. This could be a new job. Uh, this could be some kind of contract or offer. Uh, this could be an increase in pay. Ace of Pentacles does come up when we're coming into financial blessings. Perhaps maybe you're going to keep these financial blessings a secret. You're not going to announce to everybody how much is coming in or how much you have because you want to be cautious of the people who want to come in and take. Um, and so Ace of Pentacles here is coming up in this way. Seven of Swords and Ace of Pentacles Aquarius is also giving me a sense or a feeling that some of you maybe were in a really good position financially a while back and then maybe like your money situation kind of dipped down low and like you're getting by but you're thinking oh gosh I wish I made that money I made back then oh what I would give to make the money I used to make ace of pentacles is giving me a sense that you're coming into that again that and then some maybe even more than you've ever made but the seven of swords is giving me the sense that there are people around you that lied to you in the past or faked emergencies to get money out of you and you might have thought oh my gosh you know uh I feel bad for this let me help this person let me help that person but I feel like people have been dishonest with you like they took that money and they did something to live it up they did something like to treat themselves and maybe you were going to use that money to put towards your retirement or for your uh, children's college fund or you were going to take it and invest it into something or you wanted to go on a vacation and you sacrificed it because you thought oh this poor person they're having an emergency let me help them out and they were lying to you and so I feel here you're not going to be broadcasting or letting people know this money is coming in because you know they're just going to come and ask you for it or they're going to guilt you into handing it over or they're going to fake some kind of an emergency so i feel that there's an increase of money coming in but you're you're being very cautious uh, about it ace of pentacles is also a card that tells me you're coming into a really financial uh not financial but you're coming into a really significant shift ace of pentacles i see come up for people when they're breaking out of generational curses, when they're breaking out of inherited low vibrational energies, when they're ascending and they're coming into a time of upgrade, your energy is ascending, your energy is upgrading. And so as a result, everything that's coming into your life is going to be an upgrade. You're upgrading every aspect of your life. And so it's a form of like spiritual evolution that you're coming into. This kind of shift can cause us to feel physical releases. We might have tummy troubles. We might have migraines. We might have sinus and throat issues, aches and pains in the body. We may feel very fatigued and need more rest than usual. So I just always say be gentle with yourself. This is not the time to push yourself too much physically. And this is not the time uh to like spread yourself thin uh if your physical symptoms are persistent if it doesn't feel right if it feels worrisome in some way maybe go get checked out but you may experience physical release as well as this energetic shifting your outcome card here is the four of swords and the four of swords says take it easy be gentle with yourself this is time to rest to recuperate could be a good time to lay low, go on vacation, keep your social calendar light, um, and, and take time investing into 
uh, prayer, meditation, strengthening your faith, strengthening your spiritual connection, because these big blessings are going to be big. And these changes are going to be big. And sometimes that is scary. The door pops open and we're scared to walk through. But if you can strengthen your faith, you have courage to walk through that door that's opened for you. So be gentle with yourself. This is a good time to lay low for Aquarius. You might want to check out your other placements. Sometimes your other placements are going to resonate more than your sun sign or whatever placement this might be. There's links in the description that will take you to the other videos on my channel. Um, also, there's links in the description that will take you to the love readings. And there's links that will take you to schedule a private reading. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, the links will take you to calendly.com slash amethystangelite. And you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings.